I'm going to talk about what happened in Tennessee and North Carolina. Now, guys, for those of you that know, I was down in Tennessee and North Carolina uh, over the past couple of days leading up to the Self-Reliance Festival that was in Camden, Tennessee. So I was in Jonesboro, Tennessee, and I traveled in that area. I also ended up in Green Mountain, which was in North Carolina. Now, a lot of people talked about FEMA and their nonsense and the shit they were not doing and were doing. So here's the rub. Bottom line is FEMA was there. But FEMA was initiating stupid rules and just dumb things. I don't even know what to call it. They were just being stupid. And they got kicked out of a lot of places, especially in the area where I was in, which people call it Appalachia. And those people don't play. First of all, they handled their own shit, the Appalachian people. They were in there doing, their, doing what needed to be done to make sure that the roads were passable and that people were getting supplies in them. So they didn't have a lot of problem with supplies because they were getting it done with the exception of that place called Little Germany, which is not really a town. It's a community of people that live in this area up on a mountain. And so Grindstone Ministry was helping them out as well as the National Guards are also dropping off supplies. So Grindstone Ministries, Ministries delivered Starlink, Starlink, sorry, to them to give them communications because it was one guy with a radio listening to that radio 24 7 to see what information he can get and pass on information if he needed to and that was in little Germany. the roads were washed out bridges did collapse there was a matter of fact a bridge that collapsed the day i left that there was a bridge collapse so now anything that took a half hour to get to one spot or another will now take 45 minutes to an hour because you have to go around said mountain or river or find another bridge to cross now as far as fema in that area a lot of people kicked them out also fema deemed a couple of those areas in tennessee not having enough damage for them to be concerned about so they moved on to other places now fema was found blocking roads taking supplies and or denying supplies to pass through videos all over the internet on this and in fact youtube and sorry instagram and facebook are were deleting these posts matter of fact there was a guy who was trying to evacuate from florida as we speak and fema for some reason blocked the bridges which i don't understand you have a car just run them over simple as that but anyway so people who are making these posts guys people who are talking about what's going on their posts are being deleted that i am seeing as well now did i see any fema assholes there no i heard sheriffs talk about them being in the area and leaving i heard another sheriff say a town over they got rid of them because they were trying to institute their bullshit now coincidentally the second day i was there all of a sudden fema ran out of money they're running into these problems with these people in, in this part of the world or country rather and then they ran out of money then they turn around and go, well, the money ran out because the migrants, because of housing, the food, they're giving them supplies that they need. And then the White House go, oh, that didn't happen. When in fact, that was the very thing that happened that was being announced in 2022 when that uh, KJP chick, Carrie Jean Pierre, said that the funding was coming out of FEMA's accounts, if you will, or money. Their money was coming out of their funds, excuse me, from FEMA. And now people are sitting there going, well, FEMA, you know, they, they didn't really do it. They did. Bottom line is they did. So again, guys, for everything that I saw there, I saw people handling their business. I heard a lot of rumors. And that was the other thing. There's so many rumors going around, like the $750 being a loan. Technically, it's not a loan. They are giving these people $750. But don't get me started on the bullshit amount that they gave them. But... If they got insurance to cover any of those damages, they would have had to give the $750 back. Everybody there doesn't have flood insurance. Toast. Homeowner insurance is not covering them. Toast. So the $750 they're going to keep, but the $750 is bullshit, right? We gave eight, another $8 billion to Ukraine. We keep funding migrants and giving them the, the supplies they need, but Americans are suffering. And don't get me started on what's going to happen in Florida when, what is it, Milton has its way with them 
it's right now the category five. It might drop down to a four and it don't matter. Four or five, it's going to do some serious damage right across Florida. So now FEMA has nothing to give to that disaster. Now again, guys, videos are being deleted off the internet. So when you see the video, try to save it or screen record it and then upload it again as many times as you possibly can, even if that means losing your account. Even if that means getting your account suspended, so be it. I'm putting this shit all over Facebook and Instagram because I find videos I'm going to pass it along, period. Because they are guys trying to stifle the information and the truth and the fact that the federal government doesn't want to help the American people. They want to help the illegal immigrants thrive in this country so that they could possibly take over. Now, that's me kicking in my two cents in the end. They definitely want the migrants to take over this country because why else would you punish the Americans who are suffering currently and in the next couple of days but then take care of the people who came here illegally to leech or mooch off our system anyway guys in a nutshell there were a lot of there was a lot of bad things going on but there was a lot of good things going on people came together to help one another the amount of donations that i saw coming in in that area in tennessee between jonesboro uh green mountain which is in north carolina and a lot of the I guess neighboring places in that area because I forgot a lot of the places I, I was in people came to help people were dropping off a ton of supplies water food food for for animals diapers you name it everybody was had a drop off point somewhere and shit was being dropped off there was a school high school called David Crocker high school that place was squared away then they had what is it called unicorn I thought it was unicorn but I think it's called unicorn uh, high school, middle school, and high school, squared away. Blackhawks dropping supplies off everywhere they can. This is the Tennessee National Guards. So a lot was going on. A lot of people were helping, and that's how it should be. We should be helping one another, trying to keep FEMA out of it, because when FEMA steps in, guys, they turn things to shit. They don't know how to run anything. They are super inefficient. They are just a black hole in the government, like there are many black holes in the government, but these guys are super useless they're like a fucking uh a uh, uh, bottomless twat it's just they're just garbage they're a garbage organization that doesn't need to exist because they do not protect people we do and we've been seeing that and i've been watching people protect and supply and take care of one another when the chips are down the u.s government is not stepping in the people are stepping in and that's how it should be anyway guys this is the angry prepper Thank you for watching.